happy, sad, angry, ill. As a cat owner, it's essential that you learn to read your pet's body language. And because your cat is unable to speak your language, being mindful of the physical signs that your cat displays can go a very long way when it comes to communication. You can truly learn a lot about your cat if you know what to look for on the physical side of things. In this material, I'll take you through a few of the most notable emotions and give you a few physical indicators to look for that could indicate not only how your cat is feeling, but what they could be attempting to communicate to you. The ability to read your cat's body language is very important, and I've got you covered today. Stay tuned. Let's kick things off with contentment, the happy state, the comfortable and relaxed state. This, if all is right with the world, is where you want your cat to live all of the time. If there's an emotional wheel to spin, having it land on chill is what you'd want as an owner, and certainly what your cat would want. I'll start with the ears, and before I begin, just note, the ears will play a role in pretty much every display of emotion under the sun. Always be mindful of those ears. When it comes to contentment, cats that are happy and satisfied, the ears will assume the normal posture. Think of this as the default position. Nothing forward, ears, they won't be pinned back. The neutral position is the content position. With respect to your cat's eyes, felines that are content can take on what can appear to be a sleepy eye posture. Normal pupils, but with eyes either relaxed or half closed. Here again, there's really not much going on, and that's a good thing. When it comes to body posture, so much depends on what your cat is doing. If your cat is sitting or standing, the back will be relaxed and straight. No obvious muscle tension or what appears to be a rigid posture. If your pet is lying down, be mindful of the physical openness, either comfortable on the side with a touch of the belly exposed, or the legs out. Nothing is being guarded. As for the tail of the happy and relaxed cat, it will be extended and without tension, essentially an extension of the body with respect to overall posture. When it comes to the body language of a happy cat, less is more. It certainly applies. If your cat looks a bit underwhelming, there's a good chance that all is right with the world, totally relaxed and secure within their environment. And just to add to the happy times, what is the excitable posture all about? How do you know if your cat wants to play? Nothing aggressive here, but honest playtime. Well, the first thing you'll notice is the energy. Your cat could very well take a few laps around the house or attempt to stalk something, anything. In many ways, this initial behavior could be an effort to get your attention. As for the ears, similar to the neutral posture, your pet's ears will be up but they could also have a forward tilt, an extra level of alertness to go along with loads of energy. Unlike the relaxed posture, your cat's eyes, when in full play mode, will likely be quite large with wide pupils, eager and excited to check things out. This is especially true if your cat is stalking. The body posture, well, speaking of stalking, the hunched down posture is common, rear end a bit raised, just ready to pounce. If your pet isn't stalking, but rather just running around and chasing, a limber body posture will be observed. The rubber band body seemingly able to do just about anything. The picture of athleticism reminds me of my teens and early 20s, making me very jealous right now. <laughs> With respect to the playful tail, this also depends on what's happening. If your cat is stalking, look for the tail to take a downward tilt at times, but that playful energy can find the tail just moving all about. Some cats, especially young cats, it can look like the tail has a mind of its own during a play session, almost whipping around like a dog, changing emotions and a bit drastically. What about sadness, anger, signs of aggression? If your pet is unhappy for whatever the reason, most everything that I just noted will be dramatically different. If your cat is upset and afraid, those ears will tell the story. Cats that are angry typically display the pinned back look, while cats that are uncertain of their environment will keep their ears up and constantly moving in an effort to pick up everything. Insecurity can put those ears on high alert. As for the eyes, cats that are scared are wide open. 
both the eyes and the pupils. However, unlike playful eyes, scared cats don't blink. In fact, the eye movements could be quite rapid, depending on the source of the fear and the potential cause for aggression. With respect to overall body posture, observe the rigid posture. Your cat will appear tense, usually with fur standing on end. So much depends on whether your cat is afraid or angry. Cats that are fearful will cower, while cats that are on the defensive will appear tense and just moments away from action. In this moment, it's not uncommon for fight or flight to kick in. This is especially true if your cat is in a standoff with another feline. And closing things out, let's talk about illness. If your cat is sick, your pet's ears will be lowered and relaxed, eyes will be fixed, medium-sized pupils, a glazed or glassed-over appearance to the eyes could be present, almost like they're locked in a stare, overall body posture will likely be rather dull and limp, same for the tail, and your cat's overall physical standing will be one of lethargy. Cats that are sick often display a complete lack of expression, depending on the severity of the condition and the general discomfort associated with the illness in that moment. In addition to the notables that I've discussed, let's talk about a few body language traits, just general traits that cats can display on a regular basis that are very important to understand as an owner. Let's first talk about meowing, and yes, I'm calling your cat's meow a form of body language. Why? Because meows are often coupled with physical indicators. Your cat is meowing and rubbing against you, your legs, for example. This is often a sign of affection and also a sign that you've been marked. Your cat is claiming you, leaving their scent behind. What about kneading? Cats will do this, or at least attempt to do this, almost anything, most notably bedding, pillows, the sofa, your arms and legs. If something can be pressed upon, though your cat will likely give it the good old college try. <laughs> kneading, just like rubbing against you, is a sign of affection, trust, and comfort. The act of kneading harkens back to kittenhood. If your cat needs you, this means that they are peace, or you are peace, you are comfort. Uh, your cat associates you with something good, and hey, that's always good. So there you have it in a nutshell, the basics, the foundation when it comes to feline body language. If you're a novice owner, I hope this video helped you out, and it was my pleasure to bring it to you today. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, are you able to read your cat's body language quite well? Does your cat have a few interesting, cute, and perhaps funny quirks that let you know certain things? Does your pet have some body language that would never be found in a textbook? <laughs> your stories, let me know. The comments section, as always, it's all yours. If you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.